We have salaries and stuff, but you know what? You got to fix it right now. The economy's not going in. And the longer they raise taxes, our value of our property should keep going down. And, and I've been saying this the last couple weeks, so keep me busy. I don't want to be busy. No, I'd rather do other stuff. Um, because it's, and then once the taxes get so high, which they're already there, people don't want to purchase them. But the budget area didn't go there and ask them, why did my budget go up this year? And I'll tell you every single why. The state didn't pay this, this, and this, this. They will not talk about salary, pension, or medical. They will not come out of their mouths. I've done it so many times with different school boards and asked the same questions, and I'm waiting, so I'll answer for them. Why not? I don't know why. But I'll ask you, what is the, what, how much of the salary wages go up? What did the pension rates go up this year? You know, what, what, what did the medical costs go up? I understand these things go up. But that's why you have to be at board meetings, because they tell you how much it go No, they don't. <laughs> not unless you ask the question. Not unless you ask the question. They don't tell me unless I ask the question. It's, you know, it, it, the thing is, it's, you know, if you don't ask the question, if we keep asking it, when are they going to start answering at the end or freezing it? Or let's not give the president of the board $175,000. Let's give her $100,000. You get that $75,000 back to the taxpayers. Makes sense. Oh, wow. I'm I just became the president. Wow. I'm a budget, budget man. See, I can make money come back and make things. If that's plenty money, why do they need two hundred thousand dollars? Why do they need three hundred thousand dollars? Why? Because the cash cow right here, the, the truck. cash cow. We keep raising it two or three, four percent. Right, the the cash cow keeps put right sending in the money. Right. Oh, I want to make another twenty-five thousand dollars a year. I'll make two hundred fifty thousand. I see. Who approves that though? The board. Exactly. You know. Oh, look, that includes the rest of the board too. Come wait, on, wait, they all get it. Wait. The point that you're making is the point that the most important election that people can go out and vote in is your local election. It's all Not the elections. president of the United States, right. but the one who affects your life the most is your local election. And if you don't pay attention to who's running for the school board, and when they have their candidates form, you don't go and ask questions about their philosophy of raising taxes and salary increases and all those questions that you're discussing, then shame on all of us. Because we're the ones that are sitting here fat, dumb, and happy and letting this happen because we're not taking the action that's necessary to make a change. Right, and that's why I kind of, you know, we never put things in perspective. That's why we put this together. And when you talk about the class and the tax bodies, people really don't, I don't think they fully understand that they have the power to raise our taxes up or down. And how they do that, you know, the history of that, we don't really, a lot of people don't know that. Heck, I don't know at all. Um, but our property tax dollars are the closest to us. We have the most control over that money. You know, further that money goes to Springfield and Washington, we have less control of it. I mean, we all, I think we all agree with that. But, uh, so the question about uh, checking with the assessor's office, I think certainly they have an off season just like anybody else and they're busiest just before they get that letter out that assessment letter annually that's when they're busiest so maybe at that time they'll be less likely to help you but it's so easy to check our own what they call property card or property tax record that shows exactly how many bathrooms they're counting how many bedrooms what the square footage extra buildings it's just so easy to check it but you have to be a little internet savvy or go into their office and they'll print you a copy yeah just ask for your property card but you know but people going back to the, people don't realize if they look at the national race as George Anna said, you know, you look at this general election, you know, that's coming up here, it'll be in what, 2012 in November. People think that's where all our money's it really isn't. It comes through a lot of sales and other things. Um, all of our money is right here on real property. You know, a lot of it does. We do get state funding and federal funding as well. But that's why, you know, I don't know how many people know, this is this last election in April 20, or 20, uh, last, 2011 or 2010? 2010. 2010. Right. Um, April 2011. We had the lowest here in Avon Township. We had the lowest turnout ever in the history of this township. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Yeah. In this climate, 
we had that low of turnout. I mean, and, and you can look at the history of the different, how many the orders were not, it was, it was down, uh, gosh, I think the highest was 1,300 votes. And uh, the, the prior election for the consolidated, which is your, your local local races, there was like 25, it was down 50%. That's insane. The, some of the precincts were only getting like 10 or 15 voters that day. People were talking, we were talking about all across the county. I mean, it was low all over the county and the state. But that's, that's insane. You, you have to be involved in, you know, like I said, whether you have children or not, you know, you're retired, whatever, you still pay property tax. You need to be involved in going to these boards and the meetings. But I always say, I start with the biggest piece of the pie, and then if you have more time in your hands, go with the other ones. It's actually fascinating, it's not, it's usually boring, but sometimes they have a good conversation. <coughs> Say your phone number so people know how to get okay. in touch with you if they can't read the. So you can reach me. At, uh, my phone is 815-331-1201. And uh, we have tapsobjection.com. It's our website. You can go there and there's just an entry where you have a platform. You can go and fill out your information and someone will follow up with you. Uh, okay. And I, I do have postcards. It just talks about what we're in business cards as well out for anyone if anyone's interested we, we do free assessments so we'll look at the property assess it figure out what the numbers are we're pretty good with the number once we figure it out um, if you want to move forward we'll move forward um, so it's pretty and then we start from there the, that day we'll sign it I don't have to go over the, the spiel because you're, you're here but uh, we'll go to the assessor if the assessor will work with us we'll see what we can come up with if that doesn't work we'll go to the court the board of appeals down at the courthouse